What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it's time to continue my 2023 college football predictions for the 2023 college football season. And up next it's the LSU Tigers, a team that's coming off a very great season last year, really good season for this LSU team. They went to the SEC Championship and obviously they lost to Georgia, but this team made some really good progress last year. Of course, they had their first year head coach Brian Kelly, now heading into his second year. You look at where this LSU team is heading. They are heading in the right direction under Brian Kelly. I think he's definitely the right guy for this team. He got some really good options at quarterback with Jaden Daniels coming back at quarterback is the big reason. And that offense, it, the offense is going to be loaded. The offense has a lot of production coming back, 81% of their offense coming back. I think the defense will be fine. They do lose kind of, you know, quite a bit of production from last year. But I think the defense is going to be a really just fine. They brought in some transfers to help them out as well. But let's get right to the schedule here for the LSU Tigers. Again, coming off a 10-4 and season in 2022. They won the West last year. Looking at the schedule this year for LSU, they do play Florida State. That's the big game there on Labor Day weekend. That game is in Orlando, so it's kind of like a home game for Florida State, but it is a neutral site game. Then they play Grambling um, State. Then they'll also play Army and then also Georgia State in the non-conference. So they don't have a pretty tough non-conference schedule, but Florida State does make it a little bit tougher. But, you know, it's not really too tough of a non-conference schedule. And for LSU, they do play Missouri on the road in Florida but at home out of the West. So not too tough of a draw there out of the West. I mean, they do play Florida every year, but they do play Missouri on the road. A Missouri team that does have a lot of production coming back. We'll just talk about that in just a minute. Let's go game by game now and give you an official prediction for this LSU team. And... It starts off with that first game of the season on September the 3rd. This is a Sunday night game here against Florida State. Uh, this is a night game as well. It's a 7.30 kickoff time. We got the times for the games that are coming up I mean, in 2023. Florida State with a lot of production coming back. Both of these teams are kind of similar production percentages. And obviously the transfer portal has been huge for both of these teams. I mean, LSU definitely has... You know, the talent, you know, you look at this game from where it was last year. Florida State just came out on top by one point. They missed the extra point. And I think LSU will be ready for this game. I think they'll definitely have revenge on their minds here on this Seminoles team. And I like where this matchup is heading. I think this is kind of should be like a rival game perhaps. But LSU, I think, is the better team here. I know Florida State does have a lot of, you know, production coming back. But I do like the Tigers in this game. I just think they're focused on revenge. With that being said, I'm going to go with the Tigers here to knock off Florida State in the opener here on September the 3rd. I think a lot of people are picking Florida State in this game to win, but I'm going to say that LSU does wind up beating Florida State. Last year, I picked Florida State to beat LSU, and I was correct on that, but this year, I'm picking the Tigers here for revenge, so I'm going to go with the LSU Tigers here to knock off um, Florida State here in the first game, and I got them starting off 2-0 after a win over Grambling as well, Then they'll open up SEC play here on the road at Mississippi State. Gonna be a tough place to play here. We've seen LSU have you know problems with Mississippi State in the past. However, Mississippi State's gonna be a lot different this year with the coaching staff and obviously the coaching changes there. But it will be a tough place to play. They do have to deal with the Cowbells here, but I think LSU just has way much talent here, way too much talented um, roster here. And I think LSU does go on the road and defeats Mississippi State here. And now I got LSU improving the three and zero. Arkansas after that on September 23rd. We don't know what this team is going to look like. They do got KJ Jefferson coming back at quarterback. Of course, he had battle with injuries from from last year and. You know, Arkansas gave LSU a scare last year in the month of November. This year, though, this game is in the month of September, and, you know, it's a really early matchup this year for this um, team. It is a rival game. You never know what can happen, but I think LSU just has way much more talented of a roster than Arkansas. With that being said, I'm going to go with LSU here to knock off um, Arkansas here in this game, and I got LSU now improving to 4-0. and Then it's um, Ole Miss on the road next here on September the 30th. Ole Miss is going to be a team that has the offense that can compete with this LSU team. They're also going to have the transfer portal to help them out. Uh, the transfer portal has been huge for this Ole Miss team. I think they're kind of like in the top ten with transfers coming in. And, you know, both of these teams are kind of similar, you know, with the um, transfer portal. But 
However, this is a tough place to play for LSU, and plus it's in the month of September. Maybe they're not better by this time, and maybe some teams are not better by the time we get into the month of October. And Ole Miss is a very tough place to play with that high-powered offense. I know they, their defense has a lot of question marks, but this is a back-and-forth game to call. With that being said, I'm going to go with home field advantage in this game, and I'm going to say that Ole Miss does pull off the win here. So I'm going to go with the upset here. I'm going to go with Ole Miss here to knock off LSU here at home against them here on September the 30th. I don't think LSU fans will be happy about that, but I think that's my prediction there to really see Ole Miss upset LSU here. Next game on the road at Missouri. So they do have back-to-back road games here with Ole Miss and Missouri. Not a tough back-to-back road games here. I mean, Missouri is going to be a pretty good team this year. They do have a lot of production coming back. I really don't expect this team, you know, to really compete at the high level against those teams in the SEC. But you never know about Missouri. They could be a sneaky good team in the SEC. But, however, LSU, I think, is going to be ready for this game. I think after a loss to Ole Miss, it will help motivate them to, you know, going on the road next time. And with that being said, I think LSU is just way too talented. I think they knock off Missouri here on the road on October the 7th. So I got LSU now improving to 5-1. and one. Auburn after that on October the 14th, an interesting rival game here each and every single year between these two teams. It's the battle for the Tigers as well. I mean, Auburn's going to have a lot of question marks. They do have a lot of question marks, definitely at the quarterback position, but they definitely are going to have some question marks with the new coaching staff as well. I mean, LSU does get this game at home, and with that being said, I really don't see this game uh, being all that close, to be honest. I think in the first half, it is close, but I think Auburn, or actually LSU, will pull away in the second half. I must say the Tigers knock off Auburn here in um, you know this um, game right here on October the 14th. And they will take care of business here against Army. However, Army is going to run out the clock a lot. I really don't expect to see a high-scoring game here by the LSU's offense because Army likes to run at triple option. So we'll see how they handle that there. And now i got LSU improving to 7-1. Then they head to month of November with a road game against Alabama. November the 4th, this is a tough place to play for LSU. Last year, LSU defeated this Alabama team. And like I said, Alabama is looking for revenge on this LSU team. They've been waiting a full year for it, and it's going to finally come around. But, you know, like I said in my Alabama prediction video a couple days ago, I said I did like Alabama here. I like their confidence heading into this game. I think they've just been full focused on this LSU team for a very long time. With that being said, it's a, t- it's a tough game to call here on the road at Alabama. It's obviously a tough place to play. With that being said, I'm going to go with Alabama here to knock off LSU and give the Tigers their second loss of the season. So I got LSU now at 7-2 on the year. Florida after that on November 11. So you're coming off a tough road loss to Alabama. I think this is kind of like a trap game for LSU. I mean, you look at this Florida team, they're not really going to be maybe that good this year. People are not really, you know, high on this Florida team. I'm not really high on this um, Florida team either, but maybe they can get some sort of, you know, good wins in the SEC this year, and it could be one of these games, but this is a trap game for me for LSU, but I think with with them being at home at least, I think they knock off Florida here in this game, and I also got them taking care of business against Georgia State. So I got LSU now improving to 9-2, and and they play Texas A&M here on November 25th to end things out in the regular season. Revenge game here for LSU. Obviously, they lost this game to Texas A&M. I think if they didn't lose that game to Texas A&M last year, this team probably could have been in the college football playoff a year ago. Texas A&M has a lot of production coming back. We've been talking about this team. Everybody's been hyping them up. They're calling them a playoff contender, maybe a top 10 team. I don't think that's the case whatsoever. I think, you know, they're definitely in the top 15 perhaps, maybe a top 20 type team as well. But this is a revenge game for LSU. It's obviously a rival game. You never know what can happen. It's going to go back and forth. But with home field advantage, and at the end of the day, I think LSU takes home the win here. And I think they do get revenge on this Texas A&M team. And I got LSU finishing with an overall record at 10-2 for 2023. Um, I think worst case scenario would be probably 9-3, maybe you know perhaps 11-1. They could possibly go 12-0. It's definitely a possibility, but 
I think my best thing, they can probably go 11-1 and one perhaps, but Florida State is definitely a game that you don't want to sleep on. There's a possible chance that this team can go 9-3, and and with those two road games with Alabama and Ole Miss, those are definitely tough places to play, and that's why I had to really make it a, make them a 50-50 game. So, LSU, my overall prediction for them is 10-2 and two in 2023. Let me guys know what you think about this LSU team. What do you think their overall record will be this upcoming season? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.